the theme was cultural exchange and um, looking in that's so relevant to, to this piece because these pots had been manufactured in China um, being heavily influenced by pattern that was coming over from the Middle East and then it became popular in the West and so it moved over from there and was influenced by what people wanted in the West and so itself is a, a mishmash of all these different cultural influences in these individual objects which was really fascinating so that was really the the point that we started with. With it not being in a space where there's lots of other pieces of art, uh, we wanted to try and make something that kind of fitted in with that aesthetic, didn't necessarily seem like a, 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 a on the surface, a bit a piece of art, um, but as you get closer to it and have a look at it, uh, you can tell there's something kind of a foot that isn't the same as a normal exhibition piece. We settled on the idea of doing these three cabinets to bring out the cargo aspect of what we're doing. With It's to symbolise transporting these, these precious things uh, in the timber cargo boxes. I did a lot of drawing. I think I filled a whole sketchbook with the drawings. I was thinking about how things get produced in China and how exciting and, and lovely some of that stuff is. It's not all about saying mass production and mass consumerism is bad. It's like there's a reason people want so much stuff. Usually I either paint or I do kind of digital print, but something that I've been wanting to have a go at for some time was screen printing and also the, the kind of themes and uh, the kind of industrial processes that are sort of referenced in the work, such as like screen print labels on, on kind of packaging and on cardboard boxes and crates. Uh, it was kind of playing into that aesthetic. In the time that the Ming pieces were produced, they weren't for the high and mighty of society. They were for people who couldn't afford silverware or, or jade. And so they were thought of by scholars as being a bit gaudy and a bit kitsch. And I think that really opened a window when we started thinking about it, that we could have a bit of fun with the project. I first kind of had, a, had an image which I ended up using uh, that was kind of my starting point, was uh, the, the container ships. To this day, you know, they still lose a, quite a substantial amount of their cargo as they're moving around. Uh, so that was something that interested me as a sort of striking image and as a, as a sort of direct tie-in with uh, the past in terms of, you know, no matter how technologically advanced you are, you've still got to kind of cross these boundaries, you've still got to cross the sea, you've still got to try and get these things in one piece from one place to the other. It seems like things move around the world at the click of a button now and everything's very immediate and digital but there's still loads of stuff. 90% of the world's goods get moved by shipping and the way things are transported uh, was important to us because that's the same even though the way that things are manufactured are, are so different. It took off when I started thinking about that and had to be careful not just to make it a mad under the sea scene. It was about the things that had got lost under the sea and, and what that may, might symbolise about culture. So wires and plugs and the containers themselves all mixed with the sea and patterns and it was toys, lamps, things that are transported every day that are get, getting lost. Because Jane's work is kind of, you know, she has organic uh, references in it, the, the take she had uh, was about things on the bottom of the seabed, whereas mine was the more sort of industrial, uh, man-made evidence of uh, production. Although we were working on two sort of slightly different uh, types of image, uh, that the way we designed the cabinet and the way we put the things together meant that they then came back together in the way they're displayed and the way it was kind of like a hybrid of a museum piece and a piece of art. <laughs> 